everybody, welcome back to the video on my channel. My name is Cadet Captain Emma. No longer Explorer Emma because I'm pretty sure I can't legally use the term Explorer anymore. But we'll get to that in a second. So it's been a very long time since I've been on YouTube. I found some new inspiration, new motivation, with the change from the Explorers to Public Safety Cadets and the fact that I have a job and I can buy equipment and kind of better myself as a channel. I went to hibernation for a little bit as a lot of YouTubers do. So with that being said, I'm no longer a police explorer. I am a police junior cadet or junior police cadet. I've been wanting to kind of do this video for a very long time. And it's it's obviously overdue for, for very obvious reasons. The last time I uploaded was literally over a year ago. So I think it's time that I come out with something that's fairly interesting and now that I have my own job and my own money, I don't have to rely on my parents to buy me cool stuff, I can just buy my own cool stuff. So I have put together a go bag, three day bag, get home bag, whatever you want to call it, and I keep it in the back of my SUV and I built it myself. I bought the bag, I bought the, all the ingredients, all the accoutrements in the bag. And I've been thinking about doing a review on it because I feel like that's just one of those things that people that do this type of content do. Just because a lot of it is emergency preparedness, uh, you know, having a backup plan, having equipment for a backup plan type thing. Not that I think anything imminent is going to happen, but being prepared is a lifestyle. It is something that you just do. You're not really, you're not paranoid, you're not scared but you realize that you live in a world that's unpredictable. So it's a good idea to have something in place, a plan in place, equipment in place, stuff put together, stored food, stuff like that, just in case the unthinkable happens. More specifically, something that happens when you're away from home. There's a lot of stuff that you can store inside your house, but you're limited to what you can have outside your house. So the go bag is what kind of compartmentalizes all of that stuff into a little, portable thing that you can carry in your car, you can carry to and from your house, from your car to your house, from your house to your car. This is what my bag looks like and what's in it. And if you guys find inspiration, great. I hope you guys make one. So uh, let's go take a look at the go bag. All right, so this is the bag. I thought I'd start off by saying that this bag is currently 32 pounds. So everything involved, everything in it, I weighed myself with it on and then myself without it on, this bag is 32 pounds. Let's jump into it. All right, in this first outside pouch here, I have Dawn dish soap, some duct tape, and an extra flashlight. And here's where I keep my extra ammo. Um, yeah, that's, that's ammo. All right, and in this side pocket here, got wet wipes, sunscreen, lip balm, Dental floss, because you can use dental floss for a lot of things, not just flossing. Hand sanitizer, a toothbrush, a nail manicure kit, and toothpaste. This is where I keep my trauma kit on a rip away pouch. On the side I have hair tied through the molly a tourniquet so I can just snap it off there. As well as medical shears. Inside I have gauze, wound packing stuff, dressings, medical tape, duct tape, sharpie, gloves, alcohol prep pads, more gauze, and quick clot. In this bottom section here, I have a hardware kit for all the buckle and buckle replacements. I got some medication, pain reliever, Tylenol. It won't fit in my other medical kit, so it's staying right here. Fluorescent orange paracord. Got a fire starter or flint and steel and a compass in this section. Got some rubber gloves that go to about the middle of your forearm, as well as extra razor blades, a knife sharpener, and then a box cutter right here. And this bottom part is also where I keep a rain poncho, as well as my adult CPR mask. In this outer pocket right here, this is where I keep my mess kit, which has a skillet, a little pot, I think a little cup, that all kind of folds into itself in there. All right, and in this first biggish front pocket, this is where I have my actual first aid kit. This has a ton of gauze, a ton of wound dressings. I got some different ointments on top here, like uh, antibiotics, uh, after bite wound dressing, uh, gloves, maxi pads, 
great form of wound dressing. Got some popsicle sticks, as well as all the different types of band-aids. I also got little medications, as well as the ointment packets. I got my cutlery, my multi-tool with its case, some glow sticks, lighter fluid, a head net, one MRE in this part, and then a Zippo lighter hand warmer. The main compartment of the bag actually folds completely flat, so that's great, so you can easily get to everything. On this side, on this, pa this, uh, this zipper side, I have first aid for soldiers, and a survival manual, just some light reading, an emergency survival thermal blanket, two pairs of extra socks, some of these emergency food ration bars, which are 2,400 calories each, and a pair of gloves. Then on this side, which is the back of the bag, I have an extra pair of tennis shoes, some big thick socks, a fluorescent hunter's orange beanie, vacuum sealed, two pairs of sweatpants and two t-shirts to optimize space. That makes a huge difference. Two more meals. These are uh, uh, oat meals. You can find them at Walmart or Academy. And you pour the hot boiling water into the bag and it actually cooks like an MRE uh, heater does. So that's pretty cool. Also have a saw tucked in there, a foldable saw. It all sits in there. So that was the bag. So that's my go bag. I will be the first one to tell you that I don't think it is complete. I still think that there's a lot of stuff that I have to put in there. Adding more small things, adding like a fishing kit, adding a sleeping bag, a tarp, all that extra stuff, radio communication stuff, a crank radio, all that extra stuff. This is an, an ever ongoing project of mine just because, you know, my brain thinks of a thousand scenarios and I have to have something for each scenario. It's also a big investment of your time and money. So a good quality bag can cost you around hundred dollars, you know, depending on what brand you go with, depending on the size, depending on how much space there is, depending on the adaptability of the bag, all that extra stuff. This, this Condor bag, I'll link it in the description, is for me a good way to start out. I don't think that this is the bag for all go bags. I don't think that. I think that there are much better bags out there, but at this time for for my level of, of getting into this, it's a good size and, and good for what I need right now. I'll link the actual bag in the description. So all in all, that's all I have for the go bag. It's an ongoing project. I'll be adding stuff to it. Maybe someday in the future I'll do an update on it, but for now, that's what it has in it. That's what sticks in my car all the time, just in case. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my return. I have a few stuff planned, a few things planned. I may go back to tribute making again. If that's something that you want to see, is me come back to tribute world and be one of those tribute makers, let me know. Because that's what all of you started watching me for anyway, and I all know it. So, let me know down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.